Here we're going to look at charts, in particular charts associated with a spectrum mission. We've looked at markers in previous videos, so we'll look at the different kind of chart properties we have and how we can display spectral data. So here is our 2D chart and we can move the position of a chart around and we're constantly updating as we roll the mouse wheel here we're changing the parameters being sent to our three receivers. This 2D chart allows us also to have a waterfall so we do show waterfall there and this is the waterfall from each one of our um, three receivers being plotted in this. We can change the scale of the data we're looking at and also the dynamic range of the scaling to that data by rolling the mouse wheel and then moving the chart up and down. We can also use the waterfall to scale the data we're seeing in the waterfall. So we're using this scale here overlaid onto the waterfall colorization which is can be very useful. We can also put persistence on the waterfall and we can change the color palette. We can also do trace processing where we want to show the minimum, average, maximum say and we can change the coefficients to those in, term, in trace processing. We can filter the data as we've discussed in other videos about this has got each of the three traces coming in from the receivers so we can filter just on one of the receivers or a number of different receivers from there. We also have a persistence display so we can add persistence to the data itself and we can also have a hit count type display where we get the hit count on how often the signal we're looking at appears on our display. Some other display features we have is to show that uh, 2D waterfall as a standalone so we can bring that up. So this is our standalone 2D waterfall and also 3D waterfall which we can manipulate. The data there.